What's up, Fresh? It's our turn, baby. Hey everyone, it's Sandra. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Sandra Said What. So today I have for you a quick little video. It shouldn't take long, but it is an install of this glueless wig from SSW Merch. Um, you can purchase this wig at sswmerch.com. So this one is a wet wave, and you can see it's a curly hair. Um, this hair is supposed to be glueless. You put on and go. I wanted something short for everyday maintenance. You know, go to work, go run errands, whatever I need to do. You don't need, you know, long bust downs. Unless that's you, then that's you. But you know what I mean? For those of us who prefer something, you know, more moderate, shorter for everyday this is what this wig is this wig is a four by four um it comes with the thick elastic band as you can see uh four by four is just um the amount of lace as you can see it doesn't have a lot of lace so it's not like it doesn't go all across your forehead so i did do a couple things to this wig i'm going to show you what the wig looks like when it this is what it looks like when it's straight out the box um comes with wig cap and lashes i believe so yeah this again is just a thorn and go wig i wanted to share with you guys quickly um what i did to this wig is i did cut the lace because they do live a little bit of lace and you can cut the extra depending on how big or small your forehead is and um i added some what do you call it foundation on it just to show you guys what it looks like if you want to do that because that lace is a bit as you can see pale um it would look different or maybe fit someone who is a much more beige complexion as you can see i have a lot of orange hue orange hues in my skin i'm more brown so something more brown would look more realistic on me again this is supposed to be a throw on and go wig i did do a little bit extra to it you don't have to in my opinion the way this wig is you don't have to do anything else to it but me personally i did do a little bit to it so like i said i did add some foundation it's better to use a foundation that is closer to your complexion that foundation i actually use it actually does fit my skin but for some reason it does look a bit more pale in retrospect i would use a more brown foundation which i ended up doing that one is just a tad bit too light for the lace still it just for me like someone again who is more beige or more pale and less melanated it might look better on them but it wasn't bad at all so just go ahead apply the foundation to the area of the lace and then plop it on, plop it on your head again i did cut a little bit of the lace which i'm going to show you in just a minute it doesn't take much this wig in my opinion is truly a glueless wig for everyday wear and if you want to put um glue on it to melt it you can also do that but if you're looking for easy on the go i gotta get to work i'm late to work plop it on and go i gotta go outside real quick but my hair is not in a state that i want to go outside with it um also it's good for protective styles um that type thing yeah um so this is the wig once i put the foundation on it as you can see it looks much more suitable for my skin color um, it blends in a little bit more but again i would um if i were you use a foundation that is much more much closer to your skin tone although this foundation oxidizes but for some reason i feel like it could look a bit a tad bit more brown and this is before i cut the extra lace so that's why you're seeing the little bit of lace there again they leave it there because we all have different types of foreheads some bigger some smaller and you just cut it just follow the line it's not really rocket science this is a realistic wig review not that the other girlies who melt their wigs and do all that are not realistic but again this is for on the go busy people beginner friendly obviously this is why i cut the lace as you can see um yeah this is supposed to be a oh everyone anyone and everyone can do it so this is when i cut the lace as you can see just plop it on and it looks what lace it looks like honestly you don't see a lace again 
the foundation which i already got into i'm not going to get into that the other thing is the knots are not bleached which i don't think is a problem sometimes you know not unbleached knots they do cause a little bit of an issue but me personally for this wig i don't think the unbleached knots would cause an issue although i did go ahead and bleach the knot you're gonna see the disaster that happened with that um to bleach a knot, it really doesn't take much. All you need is some, I'm going to show you, uh, two, literally two products. You mix them together, put it on the lace. But this is what it looks like, honestly. It really is truly glueless. This doesn't even have to be a long um, review, but I want you guys to really see. And also, the hair is thick, it's full, and it looks realistic for me. And, you know, when I want to keep my hair intact... I am, I don't know if I told y'all, in the process of, um, what do you call it, rejuvenating my hair. I've been losing a lot of hair and I'm in the process of um, just trying to get my hair back to a healthy state. And if it doesn't want to come back to a healthy state, I might have to start my bald baddie journey. <laughs> I'm trying to stall as much as possible, but yeah, this is the wig that's it nothing else like we could end this review right here but we won't and you shouldn't leave either you know why because i got a surprise for y'all i'm gonna show you guys one how to tint the lace and then i did my makeup and wore this wig i'm using the even mousse right now just to tap on the front of the lace because again my foundation wasn't dark enough it's supposed to make it dark i don't really know how to use this i have used it before my other wigs it worked properly but um it's supposed to just um tint the lace you know i'm just trying to get it off of my forehead because then it caused like two-tone coloring one is more much more brown but this is it there is absolutely no glue on this um on this wig you don't have to do this step if you don't want to but i would pretty much i would say this is a this is a yes this is definitely a glueless wig so yeah i'm just letting y'all get into it to see it for yourself again as you can see absolutely no glue and it's ready to go i love a curly hair I've, oh i think curly hair is the most popular hair in the world and it's to me i've always always loved beautiful curly hair so then we're going to just go ahead and bleach it all you need is some w b w2 okay take the bw2 and then you're going to mix it with the liquid and then they have 30 v they have 40 v they have 20 v um those are intensities obviously 30 is stronger than 20 40 is stronger than 30 and as you can see it's not expensive at all so i did have um this one there was one that's already open i tried it it didn't do anything and then i just went ahead and used the one that wasn't open neither of them was open again it's super cheap you can get it at any beauty supply store the key is to not let this be too watery that was my mistake um I, it was a bit too watery so it was seeping into the hair where it actually got onto the hair itself not just the um, knot and I had to kind of like stop it short because the reaction happens quicker and obviously the knots are thicker than the hair so the hair is going to change color a lot faster you're gonna see that but it's honestly in my opinion it's not bad um, you're gonna see it it's still wearable it just seeped a bit more into the hair than i would have liked as you can see this one is a bit more water too watery so i would definitely add a little bit more to make it thicker because it's supposed to reach the knots up there but it's also not supposed to seep into the hair and that happened with me you live and you learn it's not um a big deal in my opinion so yeah after that i just um use the aluminum foil fold it over it and of course because it's a metal it gives a quicker reaction i think i leave the i left this on for about like five ten minutes because it was just happening so quickly um usually some people leave it for like an hour when it's thicker give it more time again the more water it is or the faster it's gonna go through the hair and you don't want it to go through the actual hair so this is the aluminum foil 
just fold it and put it onto the wig and sit it somewhere and after that just go back and take it off rinse the wig wash it i did wash it with shampoo wash the entire wig here it is here's where it seeped through it it was hard for me to manage because i had a lot of things going on i was trying to do it at the same time to be honest uh so don't blame the wig blame me <laughs> um yeah so this is it after i wash it with and then conditioner what i do with the curly hair i'm going to do it all my hairs from now on i use um what do you call it the mane and tail mane and tail shampoo and conditioner which i use for my hair so this is it and this is the wig with absolutely no foundation on it after i bleach the knots as you can see um the middle is a bit more brown honestly i don't think it looks bad at all um so yeah what i did was i leave actually after i wash the hair with shampoo um i actually leave the conditioner in so i'm showing you here if you want you can do baby hair um i'm not a baby hair girly but again you do have the option to do baby hair if you so should want yeah so what i did was for this wig and then i did do a review of a longer deep wave wig what i did was also i went um i washed it but i actually left the conditioner in don't add too much conditioner just you know after you wash it with shampoo you rinse it take a little bit of conditioner and just go through the hair make sure you're getting the entire hair because what i found is that it makes the hair keeps the hair soft and it keeps the curl pattern looking nice um you can also leave it on your actual hair which is what i've done i'm doing because my hair is so deep my actual hair is so dehydrated it's falling out everywhere yeah i am struggle it's a struggle so if i show up on here bald you already know what happened okay so yeah that's the hair i think it looks nice i'm gonna do my you're gonna see it in, in just a minute you're gonna see my hair with my um the hair with my makeup i did my makeup and it actually looks super nice and i just throw this wig on and I go and I'm going to link it for you guys sswmesh.com it's a water wave wig if you have any questions you can always email me um, DM me Sandra said what at gmail.com Sandra said what everyone on social media Instagram TikTok and all the likes again absolutely love the hair super full super nice super um what you can also do um a side part with it i'm going to show you in just a second just literally take it from one side <laughs> i want you to see and i don't even have a cap on that's the crazy part if you want just turn it to the side and you got a side part if you want to change it this is the hair honestly after i bleached it nothing on it not melted um i feel like if i were to wear this hair out to do some type of activity i might glue it down but i'm trying to avoid glue on my actual hair so that's the whole purpose of this um hair, um this here um wig right but um just to make sure it's not gonna nothing's gonna happen if i'm doing some fun activity but um this is where i was doing my makeup also make sure y'all follow me on instagram i got great content on there okay um, make sure you follow me on, on Instagram. So this is me after I had done my makeup. I was filming um, for Instagram. And that's the hair. Love the hair. I can't say enough about it. And again, you can do a quick side part if you want. Because the hair had just been washed. Of course, it's a bit tamed. So of course, you just play with it with your finger. Oh, I was trying to tell you. I have a video coming about... Um, the deep wave hair how you know you can get the deep curls the wet water wet look i have um a video coming about that soon and yeah you guys i will talk to you all later thank you so much for watching like i said subscribe to my social media instagram tiktok i have really good content i post a lot of fashion content on tiktok and instagram and i just suck my shit mostly on tiktok and i do um uh, product reviews on tiktok so yeah i will talk to you guys later thank you so much for watching bye bye